Drivers continually demand more and more from ultra-high performance all-season tires, and the right formula for success in the category is constantly changing. Not too long ago, the top tires in the class focused primarily on dry and wet traction and handling, with all-season performance as something of an afterthought. But then the market shifted, and tires with best-in-class light snow traction could lead the category as long as they were reasonably sporty. In today's world, drivers demand even more. They expect ultra-high performance all-season tires to excel in every way, with sporty dry handling, a reasonably quiet and comfortable ride, confident wet traction, and sure-footed performance in light snow. It's into this environment that Bridgestone is launching its new Potenza RE980 AS, the long-awaited replacement for the Potenza RE970 AS pole position. Bridgestone has high expectations for the new tire, and they say they've made significant improvements in every category, including a claimed 50% increase in snow traction and a 25% gain in tread life. To see if Bridgestone's new entry has what it takes to succeed at the top level of UHP all-season tires, we decided to compare it to the established leaders in the category, the Continental Extreme Contact DWS-06, Michelin Pilot Sport AS3+, and the Pirelli P0 All-Season Plus. Let's see what we found out. To begin the test, I'm driving the Bridgestone Potenza RE980 AS. The first thing you notice about this tire is the light and eager steering. It's urgent, but there isn't much resistance to it, so it feels just a little overactive. The ride quality in this tire is very good. It does a nice job of isolating from impacts. There is just a little bit of tread growl that's always noticeable. Now I'm driving the Continental Extreme Contact DWS-06. The steering response on this tire is just a little bit slower than the others in the group. It requires more of a deliberate input to initiate your turn. The ride's the softest in the group, so bumps aren't as much of an event as they are in the other tires. Now I'm driving the Michelin Pilot Sport AS3 Plus. With this tire, the steering's immediate and has nice weight to it. It's very fast, but it's also precise, so it's easy to place the vehicle right where you want it through turns. The ride is a touch more firm than the other tires in this test, and it's noticeably stiff over big bumps, and there's some mild tread growl that's present. To round out the group, I'm driving the Pirelli P0 All Season Plus. The steering on this tire is a great happy medium. It's fast and responsive, but never feels hyper, and it's nicely weighted and just feels natural. The ride and noise quality are top notch for the category too. It's firm and composed without ever feeling harsh, and the sound from the tread blends into a broad white noise. As the ultra-high performance label implies, this is a performance-oriented category, and these four contenders didn't disappoint on our dry track. The Pilot Sport AS3 Plus continued its streak of leading in all objective measurements, and also walked away as our team's subjective favorite thanks to its very high levels of outright grip and athletic feel around the track. The Potenza RE980 AS exhibited strong front-end authority and an eagerness to change direction that our drivers enjoyed, but that responsiveness could sometimes overpower the rear axle and result in some nervous movement in the back end through the slalom. The Pirelli's objective numbers were just a tick behind the Michelin, and it felt naturally gifted around the track. Without the overt capability of the Michelin or the immediate reflexes of the Bridgestone, it landed in third subjectively. When driven within its limits, the Extreme Contact DWS-06 proved very capable. Its somewhat soft demeanor meant it could feel a little unsorted when pushed too hard, and its natural tendency was to understeer when overdriven. Wet track testing was another opportunity for this group of tires to demonstrate the broad range of their capabilities, and our testers walked away impressed with all four. The Pilot Sport AS3 Plus was our team's subjective favorite once again, feeling balanced overall with strong turn-in and high levels of ultimate grip. The Potenza RE980 AS led in all objective measurements, with average lap times a half a second faster than the next fastest Pirelli. The tire's outright abilities were genuinely impressive, but the darty front end took some time to get used to, so the Bridgestone didn't make the driver feel as immediately confident as the Michelin. Lapping the P0 All Season Plus was very rewarding and fun, as it was easily driven with just a small amount of slip, allowing the driver to continuously glide around the track. Driven this way, the Pirelli was very fast and forgiving, but required trust from the driver and didn't feel as fast as the other tires in the moment. Even though the Extreme Contact DWS-06 rounds out the group both objectively and subjectively, it's a very strong performer and would satisfy even the most demanding drivers on the street. Its gentle, easy-to-drive nature also found favor with our testers and quickly inspired driver confidence. 
Top tier ultra high performance all season tires continue to get better and better. And while our test format does result in a first through fourth ranking, none of the tires in this test was really deficient in any way. It's just a matter of determining which tire's personality best fits with your priorities. The Michelin Pilot Sport AS3 Plus is the most performance focused tire in the test. It sets the bar in all drive performance metrics and feels overtly sporty in all aspects. The Bridgestone Potenza RE980 AS delivers category leading wet performance figures. It has fast and light steering, a well tuned ride, and some noticeable tread grow. The Pirelli P0 All Season Plus is arguably the most well balanced tire in this test with particularly impressive on-road refinement and a natural athleticism that allows for close second place finishes in both dry and wet objective testing. The Continental Extreme Contact DWS-06 feels the most comfort-oriented of this group. Its ride is the most forgiving over bumps, the steering is a touch less responsive than the other tires here, and it's easy to drive, if somewhat soft, on the track. Capability in the ice and snow is one more skill consumers expect from an ultra-high performance all-season tire, and we're looking forward to the upcoming winter season so we can test all four of these tires to find out how each one performs during the challenge of wintertime driving. As we compare tires side by side, we find each one has its own personality, so it's not as easy as simply choosing between good and bad. So as you view our test results, it's important to focus on your priorities and what fits best with how, where, and what you drive. And also be sure to go to TireRack.com to view our full test report and learn more about the tires featured in this test.